show you how you can post YouTube shorts on your phone and then at the end of this video I'm also going to answer some FAQ style questions more like questions I had and had to research and I think you'll find the answer to these hopefully helpful. I'm Tassiani, one half of Content Creator Pod and I'm so glad to have you on this journey with us to grow your YouTube. Before I begin don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss any videos. So the first thing you want to do is have your video. So you can either record it in the app and you'll see how when we go to post the shorts. Now I would normally either record on my phone separately and use like an app to edit or uh, film it on TikTok and then download it without the watermark. There are ways to do it and I can do another video on that if you'd like. I also do want to show for example, if we click on a video, let's say this one, uh, we can click create. And from there, we can use a part of the audio to then film. As you can see, it's just normal. It's got your record button. It's got the speed you're filming. It's got a timer. If you are using a sound from someone else, then the maximum you can do, or if you're using music, is 15 seconds. So now that you have your video and it's all good to go, you're going to click on the plus button at the bottom. Our app might look slightly different if you have different updates or a different, like I'm using Android, but it's pretty much the same. Just find where you can add plus. Then you want to create a short, so click on that. Okay, and then I am personally going to upload a video. So I'm going to click on the bottom left hand on the little photo. However, you can record straight on the phone and for that you can just click record you can change the speed so you've got little things on the top right and um, you can set a timer flash you know flip the camera <laughs> a few different things you can also add a sound so you know it's pretty basic recording one thing i do want to say though is if you want a video longer than 15 seconds you have to click at the 15 right above the record button and change it to 60 seconds so my video is about 30 seconds long so i definitely want to change that so what i'm going to do is click on the little icon like i said and it will go to my gallery then i'll just click on the video i want cranking my family and then as you can see that's the whole video i can drag at the bottom if you want to cut it i think i'm going to cut it at the end a little bit and i am going to click add which is right at the top so now that that's done processing i have my video on there i don't want to add record anymore i just want to keep it as it is but obviously you can do whatever you want um one little extra feature that i think is really good is this a uh, ghost button. I don't know because I don't think TikTok has it, but Instagram Reels does. And that is if you're recording transitions. If you record a little bit and then you press on the ghost, it will show you like like an onion layer. I think that's what it's called. I'm not like a you know animation expert, but it will show you what you had the last frame as. So then you can always come back exactly to the position you were in. So once you're ready, you're just going to click on the tick at the bottom of the screen, and then up to you if you want to add sound. And then you can adjust the sound if you would like, where in the music it is, and you can click done. However, I don't want sound, and this is something I'm going to be probably repeating myself because it's a pretty big thing. And that is if you do add sound, you can't, as of yet, hopefully they updated, but as of yet, you can't have the original sound and the music playing at the same time. So because I want original sound, I'm not going to click on that. You can also add text, whatever you want. If you want to delete it, just click and hold and then just drag to the trash can. If you do have TikTok or Instagram, it is pretty similar and pretty easy to follow. If you have more than one video, you have a timeline here. So once you're happy, you're going to click next, which is right at the top. And then here you go, you're going to add your title. So I am going to add pranking my family. And the one thing I'm going to add is I'm going to add hashtag shorts. And you can add, use other hashtags too but that is a pretty important one. So just write hashtag shorts. Then um, that's all you can pretty much do. You can set the visibility. So if you want to be seen now, if you want it unlisted, so only people with the link works, uh, if you want to private, if you want to schedule it to another time, exactly the same as you would for a normal, normal video uploading to YouTube. And the other thing is you do want to make sure that you've said if it's for kids or not. And we're going to click upload. So that's pretty much it. I'm kind of scared to click upload and the whole world will see it, but that's fine. Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes because I'm talking and getting distracted. But uh, you can see at the bottom, it's just uploading. You can see my library that it's doing its thing. Unlike a regular video, it didn't have like the description section. You didn't have the tags. It didn't have add to a playlist. You didn't have quite a lot of things. If you do want to post YouTube shorts on a computer, you can definitely do that and it will look pretty much the same as if you were adding a 
any other type of video so you would have exactly the same options the only difference is make sure that it's uh, vertical and that it's less than 60 seconds However, if you're uploading on a phone, it does not mean that you can't edit. So you're going to do that after you post. And a uh, little thing I should have seen before is that there was a copyright claim on mine, which might mean that it's not showing up to people. Let me... Basically, I had a little issue because my one had sound from TikTok that is saved with it. So they grow um, on camera example of what not to do. But in terms of posting it, it's exactly the same. So now if you want to edit this, you can edit on your computer, your video will be there, otherwise you can go on your phone and if you have YouTube Studio, otherwise download it, it's a free app. Once you have that, you can click on it, then you can go onto your content, click on that video and then you can click edit. So this way you can add a description as you normally would, so I can say something like, for them, they can't even eat without getting pranked. <laughs> And we just click back and don't worry, you're not going to lose it. You still have time to click save right hand side. The other thing is you can add it to playlist. So for example, um, I can add it to my shorts TJTV playlist and I click done. Um, you can add tags. So for so in this case, I'm going to add uh, shorts, press a uh, comma, and then you will separate. This is me doing, showing it very quickly. This is not like example of tags that you should be doing. You should be more maybe specific or use the name or things like that. And then we go back and then we click on save. Actually, before we do that, we can also click on the little uh, pencil icon on top of the thumbnail and you can edit the thumbnail. At the moment, I don't have a picture. I'm just going to leave it like that, but uh, you can edit if you would like. Save and there you go. I do want to get onto some questions that I've had to research as well while doing this. First thing is, should you post on YouTube Shorts? Personally, I would say yes. Now, in my opinion, feel free to discuss in the comments if you think something else, but I don't think that you should abandon if your content right now is long form video and you're happy with it and your audience is happy with it, don't abandon it uh, because while a lot of platforms right now are trying to be more like TikTok, at the end of the day, YouTube still has a lot of people watching it and what differentiates it is the long form videos. I know some people have created channels specifically dedicated for YouTube shorts, so completely up to you what you decide to do with it, but I definitely don't think they don't abandon long form videos um, unless you're creating a new channel and want to experiment with it, uh, but otherwise just make sure it's an addition to your videos. The other thing is why I recommend posting more is because YouTube is really pushing it. It has been for maybe the last couple of years since it first released it and even now I see ads for it I've definitely seen billboard ads I've seen bus ads so if YouTube wants us to start posting it's going to promote channels that are posting YouTube shorts so it's a great way to reach a new audience and then hopefully they will follow and watch your long-form video as well which is better for monetizing for sponsorships things like that it's just whatever I think is important for you but I definitely recommend if you want to reach more people um, one of the things that I found with YouTube shorts is not all my videos have done super well but some of my videos that I posted it's done well over the long term and the other thing is they have created a separate fund for YouTube shorts so they are rewarding users who are posting shorts and giving out money even in their description so in Google's if you can read I will add the link if you want to read more about YouTube shorts and everything but even there it doesn't really specify exactly how many views you need to get or how many followers or how many what hours watch time it does seem to vary from month to month and if you got it one month doesn't mean you get it in another month and vice versa as long as you're doing well there's a chance that you can get it so the next question is can you edit description and tags on a mobile phone and yes if you watch this whole video i showed you how to do it you can definitely edit on your phone easiest way is to have the youtube studio app and then you can edit there as if it was a normal video but i would say you have to post if you are doing it on your phone you have to post it first and then add edit the description later then the next question is do you need hashtag shorts remember it is shorts Plural, please don't forget that. And again, the answer is yes and no. Technically, you don't need it. YouTube recognize a video as a short if you post a less than 60 seconds and it is vertical, especially if you're clicking on the button post YouTube shorts, it knows it's a short. However, in their own page, YouTube themselves has said, has recommended people to write hashtag shorts. And that is because in the database, it clumps um, tags 
and hashtags together and so if there's someone who's watching a lot of shorts you'll kind of just like recommend other shorts videos to them definitely add other tags or think about the title or what type of video posting but it's still very useful to have it there if youtube recommends it i would say do it is the hashtag specifically hashtag shorts case sensitive so no hashtags are not case sensitive it's completely up to you what you do some hashtags if people are reading it it's easy if you just capitalize the first letter of each word but it's not case sensitive and the other thing is can you post on the computer so this video was just me showing how you can post a youtube shorts on your phone but yes you can post it on the computer so just make sure that you have a video that's portrait and less than 60 seconds and then you can just drag and drop as you would a a normal video i think some people some channels have the option of like specifically saying it's youtube shorts but um for me that hasn't come up yet i have tested it as long as i drag and drop a video by their like short standards it recognizes it as a short the other question is if you use sound from youtube or from another video on youtube can you have your own voice or original sound too and the answer is no. If you are putting in a video from outside, importing it into YouTube Shorts and then putting music over it, you just hear the music. And hopefully they will update it. One thing that you learned from this video is even if you put a sound that has a background music, YouTube will know and will flag it for copyright. So that's what they did with me. <laughs> so learn from my mistakes. What is the maximum time for YouTube Shorts? So right now it is 60 seconds. If you upload anything, it can be up to 60 seconds. Uh, all you have to do is click on the little button above the record and right now, it, probably when you open it, it will say 15 seconds. Then you click on it, it will change to 60 seconds. However, I do want to say though that if you are using uh, music from their library or if you are using a snippet from a video, then uh, you can still have longer videos, but the music will only go on for 15 seconds. Yeah, for those those kind of video sounds only supported due to copyright issues for 15 seconds. Yeah, let me know if you have any other questions, if you want to know anything else about YouTube Shorts. I hope this was helpful, so don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you learned something from it or if it helped you. I will see you next week for a podcast on how to grow YouTube or another tutorial.